50s Thursday night, but then we're back to near 70 on Sunday. So, you've heard me talk about DIOS. DIOS is a big weather network, and meteorologists and climatologists know about it, but a lot of people in Delaware don't know how special that network is for them, and here's more about it. It's called DIOS, the Delaware Environmental Observation System, and it grew out of a need by emergency managers and meteorologists for better real-time data during severe weather. Now, the state has one of only four statewide networks of high-quality weather stations. Oklahoma built the first mesonet back in 1994. They now have 121 stations. The New Jersey Weather and Climate Network has 57 surface stations. And Kentucky, they have a large network as well. The only other one in the U.S., it's right here on Delmarva, and it's run out of the University of Delaware. Professor Daniel Leathers at UD is the state climatologist. Well, there's 44 stations in Delaware, I believe, but then we also have stations up in Chester County, Pennsylvania. We cover that entire county, and we also have a couple stations in Cecil County, Maryland. So by the time you add them all up, it's about 57 stations across the region. This is the DIOS station near the Laurel Airport in Sussex County. There are over 50 of these high-quality weather stations throughout the state of Delaware. That means the Delaware Mesonet is one of the most dense in the nation. Actually, make that number one. In fact, we actually in Delaware have the highest resolution state weather network of any state in the country right now. The DIOS stations provide far more than just wind and temperature data. They measure rainfall, soil temperature and moisture, and solar radiation. And this has gotten the attention of nearby Maryland farmers. I do know that there's been a lot of interest in having similar stations, at least on the eastern shore of Maryland, so that the whole Delmarva Peninsula could be covered. And a lot of those, there's a lot of interest from agricultural concerns that would love to have the same information over in Maryland for agriculture as we do in Delaware. Okay. We meteorologists call this kind of a network a mesonet, and I use it every day to forecast, and it's especially valuable in active weather. You see this data every time you watch a TV weathercast on WBOC because DIOS data plots automatically on our weather maps in real time. Any meteorologist will tell you there is no such thing as too much data. But when it comes to Delaware, let's just say we have no complaints. The first state comes in first when it comes to weather data.